Welcome to the Khalsa Kids Story Time Show, part of the, your favorite breakfast show. Hope you're all well and enjoying these shows. As you can see, I'm all on my own. Um, if you would like to take part, please do email me at info at seekchannel.tv. Um, it's a great experience to come on and you'll get a certificate and you can share with the whole world your show, which will be on YouTube. So please do get in touch, kids, and don't be shy. Now, summer's here, you know, we have beautiful long days and your holidays are approaching, so I hope you guys all have fun. Let me know what you do over the holidays and send me some pictures, which I'll be happy to show you on these shows. Um, if you have any birthdays coming up, simply email me in a month in advance and I will give all those shout out outs as well. So, today's show is about Guru Har Krishan Sahib Ji again, and he was our which Guruji? Eighth Guruji, excellent. So, as Sikhs, it's our duty to remember God, yeah, to do Seva, to do Simran, and to look after everyone else. So, Guru Har Krishan Sahib Ji, for you children, is an amazing role model because he was young himself. So when people say, oh, you're too young, you're, you know, you're too young to do Simran, you're too young to do Bhat, you're too young to have Amrit, they are wrong because you can turn around and say, well, hang on, Guru Har Krishna Sahib Ji was young himself. So it's not about age, it's about the right time. So Guru Har Krishna Sahib Ji was an inspiration for all of us, for all you young children out there, and you should never, ever forget him. As I always say, um, when we celebrate days, it shouldn't be just for that one day or that one month. We should remember and implement their teachings and their morals in our everyday life. So, July is all about Guru Har Krishan Sahib Ji. I'm going to tell you a quick sakhi today about how Guru Ji became the next Guru. So, Baba Ram Rai is Guru Har Rai Ji's other son. So, Guru Har Rai Ji had two sons. One was Baba Ram Rai and the other was Har Krishan. So one day, both brothers were sitting in um, the veranda. A Sikh came and started to praise them and said, how the, princess, how the princes are engrossed in deep meditation. They have forgotten all worldly attachments and have now died themselves in the name of God. They are just perfect. The Guru called for this Sikh and said, if you want the real situation of the princes, then I give you this needle. Take this needle. Prick with this needle the hand of each prince and you will find out who has really been engrossed in deep meditation and who has been just sitting there with their eyes closed. That Sikh took the needle and he pricked the first hand of Baba Ram Rai. Even on touching the needle, Baba Ji became alert and stared at the Sikh very angrily and said, What on earth are you doing? You've just hurt my hand. He then pricked the hand of Guru Har Krishan Ji, but he did not move. He again pricked Har Krishan. Again, he remained motionless. The Sikhs were astonished to see such a small boy in such an amazing state of meditation. Guru Har Rai was watching the whole show. From this, he perceived that Baba Ram Rai was just sitting there with his eyes closed and was aware of everything that was happening outside. However, Har Krishan had gone into such a state that he was completely unaware of the surroundings. From this evaluation, the Guru concluded that Baba Ram Rai was not serious towards meditation or loving God. He had two appearances. In his heart, there was no love for God, but outwardly he was showing others that he was the best. On the other hand, Baba Ram Rai failed to impress the Guru. On the day, the sea came and asked Guru, um, that among his sons, which was more dear to him? Which one? So was it Baba Ram Rai or Hare Krishna? Guruji replied, parents love their children equally. For me, even my Sikhs are my children and they are, not, and they are more dear to me. But as far as these two sons are concerned, if you want to assess that who is more lovable, then I tell you one method of estimation. I hand you over this needle, so another needle. My both sons are reciting the holy hymns sitting in their cradles. First, you should listen to the devotional songs recited by the princes. After that, you should pierce this needle into one of the corners of the cradle. In whose cradles um, this needle pierces easily, consider that my loving son. 
So a cradle is like a cot, it's like a swing, yeah? So these two brothers were sitting there, Har Krishnji and Baba Ram Rai, and Guruji says to his, um, a Sikh saying, take a needle and put the needle through the side, like the hand, the armrest of the swing. So this Sikh went, obeying the orders, the Sikh reached the cradle of Baba Ram Rai first. He stayed there and heard the part that he was reciting. Baba Ram Rai was reciting the Gurbani, um, however, after hearing the devotional songs for some time, the Sikh didn't really find Anand, he wasn't really, um, you know, loved by it, he was just listening to it, he, he couldn't really listen to it so properly or couldn't concentrate. Um, but the wood was, so, okay, so then he got the needle and he did exactly what Guruji said and he tried to put it on this um, armchair, armrest of the cradle. And again, the wood was so hard that nothing went through. The needle could not even go through the side of the wood. He tried again, but he failed. He then went towards the cradle of Har Krishnji. He was reciting hymns in such a very sweet voice. The Sikh was mesmerized to hear the sweet voice of Har Krishnji and stayed there for a long time to enjoy the bliss. He even forgot the purpose he went for, which was to test which one's more lovable. When Guruji called him and rem Guruji then called him and reminded him of his task. Anyway, he then tried to pierce this needle, and he was astonished to see that the needle pierced into the wooden um, bar of the cradle, and it melted as if it was wax. He then touched this wood with his hand, and he found that the wood had turned green as if it was a branch of a new-grown tree. When he met Guru Haraiji, he was absolutely shocked. He told him the whole story. He said, My Lord, I have never seen such a miracle in my life. The hard wood has turned into wax. The cradle seems to be part of a banana plant. Dry wood has been converted into candle of wax. How is this possible? The Guru was very pleased to hear his words. He said, It has happened due to the recitation, recitation of the holy hymns. When a person recites the Gurbani from the core of his heart, then the dry plants turn into green plants. The childhood Christian has been reciting the hymns sitting in the lap of God. Hence, the wood has turned so soft and melted like wax. So from this Saki, you can tell that if you recite Bani, if you, say you, if you do your Simran, if you recite your part with love, everything around you becomes beautiful and everything blossoms. If you recite Gurbani and your heart's not in it, one, it's not going to be appealing to people around you, but two, nothing's going to happen, okay? No miracle will take place. So from this story, you can tell that because um, Hare Krishnji had a pure heart, he did his Simran with his mind in it, he became Guru because Guru Har, um, Guru Har Raiji then realized that, hang on, only he deserves to be the next guru because he will shed the light that he has received from God. So that was the story um, and that's when Guru Har Krishna Sahib Ji became the next guru at such a young age. So I hope you enjoyed that Saki and also remember Guru Har Krishna Ji was only five years old when he became Guruji. So an amazing role model for us all. So please read his Sakis upon nine. You can go to your local Gurdwara and get some books but again don't just remember him in July, remember him throughout the years and throughout, the, um, throughout your daily life as well. That's it for today. I will see you again very soon tomorrow with another Sakhi. So I hope to see you then. Vai Guruji ka khalsa, Vai Guruji ki fateh.